channel so today we'll be seeing how to print your name 25 times and to write the algorithm and the flow chart of the same okay so the first step as i say always is just a start okay now second thing is what we need to input what has been asked which is the name here so input name okay the next step is new year which is basically increment this is when we are going to start increment. Basically, if a uh, decision is taken, like if i is less than or equal to 25, that is the case here. If, when it is the 26th time, the loop stops there. Okay, it stops there. But if it is 24th, 17th, it still has to keep running. For that, i is equal to 1. Majority of time has a variable, we take i. Anything can be taken there. So i is equal to 1. Then print name. Then the next step is to increment this. i is equal to i plus 1. This is it. Like if i is uh, 1 here, so the next step would be i is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, until 25. The moment it becomes 26, it stops. Okay. So the next step is if i is less than or equal to 25, then go to step four okay else go to step seven and what is the seventh step stop this is it hopefully you guys understood what is it uh, so this is where the increment starts we'll be using a lot of increment in programming so you should understand it by now okay now let's see how to draw the uh, flow chart okay the first step is to write the start thing, right? So start. Next step is input. Input is in this format. So input name. Okay. Next step is i is equal to 1. That is also an input, so that also can be written in this parallelogram. I is equal to 1. Then we have to print the name, okay? Now, in order to print, it is supposed to be in a rectangular shape. So, print name. The next step, next step is I is equal to I plus 1. That is also a process being taken place. So that is also going to be a rectangle, which is i is equal to i plus 1. If it is a process, it is supposed to be a rectangle. All these symbols has a meaning. If you didn't see my one-shot video, please check that out. I'll be putting it in the above i icon. Okay. The next step is decision making. It's basically this. If i is less than or equal to 25, then... If it is an yes, if it is an yes, then this direction. If it is a no, if it is a no, then we'll be stopping it. So this is a case. This is a flowchart for this question. You can see we're starting it and then we're inputting the name i is equal to 1, printing the name, then i is equal to i plus 1. We're checking if the decision is true. Until and unless it is true, it will be getting printed and then finally it will get stopped. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. Please just subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and to comment up if you have any doubt. And do check out my one-shot video so that you have a clear vision of the chapter. Thank you.